Praise the Lord. Welcome to the to this administration again. God bless everyone. Desperate for Christ, always desperate for the Holy Spirit. And now, I'm for you. Amen. Desperate for you, dear Lord Jesus. You're desperate for me. I'm obsessed with you. I'm obsessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Always desperate for Christ. Always desperate for Thank you, Father. Desperate for him. Desperate for him. Desperate for him. We are all desperate for him. Bless you, viewers. Welcome again to today's ministration. God bless you. <laughs> Sorry about last week. Um, we did a, a reposting of video. There was a video that we actually reposted. I want each one of us to watch that video. Very, very interesting. Talking about uh, more of the perilous time. Uh, what the Lord already preempted us even before uh, COVID and he was able to uh, show the servant of the Lord uh, let us not take those things for granted God bless you Father we thank you that we've come to this platform today we thank you so much for your children we thank you for the leaders thank you for the saints of Christ deliver us all be with us God in these latter days in Jesus name glory be to your name in Jesus name we pray Amen Brethren, God bless you and welcome again. Today, quickly, we're going to talk about what they call the strategy of um, getting the potentials uh, that the Lord has deposited in you. This um, divine strategies, uh, how the Lord has shepherded us into uh, this year and then, of course, towards the end. And, of course, we're going to see 2024 and then those things he has already hidden for us, the blessings he has kept for us that we are going to see. I pray that God Almighty will help us through so that we can uh, connect into it in Jesus' name. So today we're quickly going to talk about the strategy way to tap into your uh, uh, your godly potential, your career potential, and also the future that God holds for each one of us. So uh, the strategy, when you talk about strategy, is a plan or action, a policy designed to achieve a major or overall aim to get what they call a master plan. You understand to get what they call a, a master plan. So, uh, another definition is a general plan to achieve one or more long term or overall goals under conditions of uncertainty. So, uh, you say strategically, how can I get this done? Strategically, how can I put this place in place? You know, and up whatnots. So, when we're talking about having or showing the capacity to become or develop into something in the future, all depends on the hands of God. So now, uh, the right way to tap into this uh, potentiality or the, pot uh, the, uh, the potencies of uh, we getting these potentials and way how to uh, uh, 
acquire those things it's in the hand of god number one is to acknowledge your creator which is matthew chapter 6 verse 33 it says seek ye the kingdom of god and his righteousness and everything else shall be given to you if you look at genesis 1 1 and also john chapter 1 verse 1 he said he said of course the lord was the word and the word was god and the word was god there himself from the right from the beginning jesus christ was here when the world was being created so our joy is that as children of god we have one mission and one goal is that uh, we believe that Christ is the one that is going to help us through in normal, in all circumstances. Uh, audience, please just give me one second. Let me shut the door. Mm. Sorry about that. God bless you all. So uh, we believe that God Almighty is the one that you know redirects our footsteps and and acquiring, put, um, getting the uh, a very solidified potential depends on something that is a gift so each one of us has a special gift a special gift so when we want to find that gift number one the right way to uh, get that gift just as i said from the first time is to seek the kingdom of god when you go to matthew chapter 6 uh verse 33 and you can even read it from 26 down to 33 number two is to find god early in the morning through reading his words speak uh, to God as if you are speaking to your own earthly father so that you can get that victory that God has proposed for us. Plan from the foundation of your life. The basis is Psalm 37 verse 23. So specifically you have to hand over every plan onto God's hand and how God is going to lead you to achieve those plans. So those things are very important. How can we achieve, you know, plan that has a very big plan, you know, you have to go to Luke chapter 19. You understand that God has given us the authority. You know, uh, 1819 also say, He said He has given us authority that whatever to when bound here on earth, it is bound in heaven. So we believe something. If you go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, but He said, God will give us the strength that through Christ we shall receive everything. He said, through the manifestations of Christ in us, we can do all things. Praise the Lord. Because that's, it's going to be very challenging for us when we're in this life, you know, some people, the youth call it the Jay-Z or whatever they call it. You understand? So, but that's not normal. We should know that something is wrong somewhere, but we need God's divine intervention. So obey, obeying God's words, how do we obey God's word? The obedience of God's words is, first of all, you have to acknowledge him that he's your personal Lord and Savior. And then for, for persons who have not given their life to Christ, you have the privilege to give your life to Christ. So that God should be the master of your life. Now, obeying the governing uh, rules and regulations that God already quoted for us in Exodus 20 and also Matthew chapter 4 and Matthew chapter 5. If you go to Matthew chapter 8, also God emphasized about that too. So how are we going to obey God's word? Obey our parents. Obey, you know, our leaders. Uh, uh, ministers who watch over us. So how are we going to stay in a strategic place to obey this thing? So we need a covering. How can we get a covering? We get a covering from God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So now we forgive easily, no matter what it is. The past and put the past behind you. You go to Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 to and Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and 15. You understand? So now we try to do all these things and put them back and make sure that our thought life yeah, is already purified. The divine power of God's divine inspiration. That God Almighty should inspire us in a positive way on a daily basis to meet those criteria that makes God's blessings to be very easy and to be accessible. You understand? So uh, God Almighty does not just push us in a corner and say, oh, because you are this, because you're that, I'm not going to talk to you. When you go to family units, the, the units of a family is very, very important. And that's where so many, you know, school of thought have been abided with. And that's where a lot of kids have to learn what they will become in future. You understand? So it's this, 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 the way you make your bed, so you lie in it. So, but guess what? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25 says, Husband, love your wife as the church do love God. Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, and God ordained that, that it has to be like that. 
in Psalm 133, it says family comes together so that they can believe and pray and make sure that they overcome trials and, and you know, persecution. If you go to uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20, it says, children, obey your parents. This is compulsory. Children, obey your parents. There's no two ways about it. Colossians chapter 3, verse 20, the Lord respects those ones and, you know, give uh, credits to those ones who actually acknowledge the presence of God. But, you know, one thing I love is that, um, yes, we know the days are becoming evil and evil. We become, we, we know that the days, there's a lot of wickedness, you know, all around the place. But one thing we know, because the Bible said the habitations of the earth are full of cruelty, you know, like that. So we cannot ignore the fact that these things are not there. So, but we know one thing with God Almighty, he's the one that is going to guide us to our, the rightful path, no matter what it is. No matter what it is. So we're asking God for his own definite mercy upon us. We're asking God for his own, um, you know, divine touch on us, our soul, our spirit, and our body, no matter what it is. So you're going to pray this prayer after me as I'm about to round up. Say, oh, Lord, my father, these strategies and these potentials that you think you embed in my life that I need to tap into to accelerate me to the next level, Father, please make it abundance in me in Jesus' name. Father, I say that you are my shepherd. Psalm 23 said the Lord is our shepherd. You know, the other day, about maybe three months ago, and when the Lord revealed to us, to us uh, this two, sh two sh sheep, and I was asking, you know, the audience, I was asking the audience, and I said, what's the meaning of that? Some people try to give a lot of interpretation, different kinds of interpretation regarding it. But now I come to get it in a full way, you know, because the Lord is our own shepherd. When the Lord said, uh, when the Lord leads, you follow. You understand? So right in the presence of your enemy, your table will be made. And God is going to uh, take you to the next level. And the next level, uh, spiritually, physically, materially and otherwise soul wise you know connecting to god connecting to heaven to get your blessing so god is very very you know uh certain about if you form a relationship with him he established that good you know father and son daughter coordination where you get blessings so it's not something we just you know put it aside because we feel it's not important it is important brethren so we thank the lord for the open heaven we thank the lord for his divine mercy and favor we thank the lord for what he's doing for us may he cover us with the blood of jesus glory be to his name and thank him so much and brethren i'm going to pray for you and before we do that for those ones who have not given their life to christ he said lord jesus please have mercy upon me come come into my life god i rededicate my life unto you and i'm asking you for divine favor Watch us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Make us or wash us in Jesus' name. Help us to reach out the world to the end of the world. You see, if the last person do not hear this word, he's still not going to come. The rapture is still not going to sound, except the last person in the cave or cove, wherever they are, hidden places, hear the word of the Lord. And I pray God Almighty will help us so that they can hear the word of the Lord. We thank the Lord because of his mighty work upon our life. We thank the Lord for what he's been doing for us. May he open the windows of gate and favor upon us in Jesus' name. We thank the Lord because we shall be an overcomer. Say that with me. Say, Father, I thank you, God. This week you shall favor us. This week you shall bless us. This week you shall connect us to divine connection. This week is going to be a blessing to you all and declare and decree it just like as we said in Job 22 verse 27 and 28 in Jesus name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord be with you. For this uh, December, the favor of God shall be with you. Whatever thing you could not achieve from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September and October and November, the Lord will make you to achieve them in Jesus' name. Bless you abundantly and thank you again for your prayer over my life and over the life of the Oasis and our family. Now, any shadow, any darkness, any stronghold, any strong power, anything that they felt that they have power over God. But my father promised me something. He said he's above the principalities and the powers of darkness. So he's giving us the authority to tread upon the serpent or scorpion. So I am going to use my authority to bind all the powers of darkness and the strong man that think they want to hold somebody bound and then cancel their power over our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Love you best from the bottom of my heart. And God bless you and have a nice week in Jesus' name. You're all blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.